Okay, so here, here we have a fundamental problem with Linux that exemplifies what is why we're having problems getting on the desktop, and it's because of things like this. It's because the Java I have installed in here has not changed in this upgrade at all. It's still 1.6, same installation I had before. One, Ubuntu decided to ins <clears throat> install the Ice-T plugin and also the Open JDK on top of what I had already. Two, <clears throat> the solution I had used before, at least for Library J Sound Alza doesn't work anymore. Three, um, I get a check to see whether um, that E Sound plugin that I had installed uh, which I don't remember <clears throat> in fact I don't remember the name of the library they're so altruistic you gotta keep the documentation um, I also want to see whether um, I do have, <coughs> or if somehow because uh, the Ice-T plugin installed, somehow it damaged my Java plugin completely, but I, I don't think so. I know I have sound in um, Firefox because I was able to watch my own video and hear sound. I know my system has sound. Um, I know Flash is in there. Now, see, now it doesn't have, it does have, there's a restricted extras I had from before. It doesn't have the Flash 10 plugin. And, it, and even though I was able to watch my own YouTube video, it doesn't register here as being there installed. Now, maybe it's a part of the Ubuntu restricted extras. I don't know. Um, but this is a little, and, and this is showing that it's not installed or it was okay before, that's a problem. And so um, the only thing I can think of now is um, maybe I should go into the Pulse Audio Manager. And who knows? Who knows what it's going to do? Now it's saying make discoverable. You know, I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, my for everything besides Java, everything seems to be working okay. So, um, wh what is it? What's the problem? Do I have to uninstall and reinstall my um, Java? <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. So there's the Sun Java 6 plugin. I'll remove it. See if you know. See if removing it and putting it back in does any good. I, you know, who knows, right? There's the Adobe Flash Player plugin version 10. It used to say Flash 10. Maybe they fixed the I no, they couldn't have fixed the IT plugin. Because it didn't work before, you know, it would, it would crash before I even used it. So I am really well, you know, I removed that Adobe plugin. Now I can't see that it's part of the things that are available for me. Who knows? I'll just try to play this thing again. Maybe it needs to be removed in 1010. I don't know. Now, see, it's behaving differently. Before, it would just have one picture of the release gum. But I would imagine that would have sound, so I, I'm just really wondering. absolutely nothing. Maybe after we start Firefox I could try that. But I but I think I've restarted it. I'm pretty damn sure I have. Alza Mixer's up. Um, I've renamed my 
Alza, I don't know. If I just don't know, maybe live G sound on SO, and I could start trying to cut the baby in half, you know. <laughs> You know, who knows? Let's, let's see if that works. You know, maybe pulse um, imitates um, the open source sound system. God, you know, who knows, right? And I guess since I know for sure that balloon bounce, come on, for balloon bounce. I know that has sound, so well, I'm not getting anything here. No, here it is. Okay, let's see. That was the one that I had working before, so let's see. Now it says I don't have the the Java plugin. If I undo this, let's see if it makes a difference. Now I press the up arrow just to go to the last thing that I did. Of course, I take the caps off or it's not going to auto complete. Let's try this one more time. Let's reload. Okay, restart Firefox. Okay, so it thinks I don't have a Java plugin. Um, I wish I remember the name of that. Now, another thing I could do, I'm trying to do this uh, a little more user friendly, but I may have to. Let's see, I've got plugin here, it's got all this stuff. It's like Canonical Partners. What are they going to do? Force me to use the Ice T plugin? Come on. Let's try it. I don't think it's going to work. Okay, so it thinks it's done. Let's see what happens now. And sometimes uh, these things start quicker than they did before. Don't start. I, I'm expecting that once this app tries to start, it'll just crash. There we go. The applet started, and I get a gray box from the Ice T plugin. So you don't want the Ice-G plugin. You want the Sun Java plugin, and it, now it's not listed in the Ubuntu Software Center. So that's a very nice enhancement. Not. I'm going to remove the Ice-G plugin. Stop this thing. And I need. I'm gonna do apt get install sun java because this thing's open. Okay, try it again. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna go in as
Yeah. Clues of what package I need. <sighs> Man, I have no clue as to what I need to get this to work. So now I'm gonna look up. See, <laughs> every up, every upgrade, something's gonna go wrong. I've already promised that in my earlier videos, and here I am. I'm gonna look for the name of the package. Okay, so this is the name of the package right there. Sun Java Six plugin. There it is, it's installed. Okay, so now let's see what happens when I go to Pogo. Bloom Bounce should start without a problem. Are you suffering from frequent heartburn? That's a very good sign. Try new Zegodo TC. It's the first 24 hour treatment with two active ingredients prescription strength medicine plus a protective ingredient, so it's effectively absorbed. So it wasn't Pulse, it wasn't Alza, release. it wasn't anything like that. Let's just see what happens when I start this game here. Still no sound. Unbelievable. Now maybe they <clears throat> try to deal with the problem I had before. Let's see. Actually, I should have expected that because that's where I was to start with. I can go back to being myself. And of course, it didn't save the history. Where was that? Okay, let's go up and see if I can find it. Here it is. What I want to do is I want to... Now let's see. Let me just refresh this and see if it's still there. It's renamed. Yeah, it is. So I'm going to do the back... I'm going to do it backwards now. see as problems get solved then you have other problems as a result of the problems being solved because then the workaround doesn't work but who knows if that's even going to be the reason so let's try it this is the way it goes this is the way life with Linux is and until this gets solved it's no it's going to go nowhere quick because most people don't want to mess with this kind of stuff now it's good for security because you know if someone wants to write a virus that that depends on Java behaving in a certain way, it's not going to work. Fly, fly, slippery, slide. You know it's not going to work between even an upgrade. But you know at the end of the day, people got to be able to use this thing, and you still have the uh, permission system in place. So that you know, God, there's just no reason. sound. 